Hi everyone, you're watching Wisdom Shots. If you had one last lecture to give before you died, what would it be? That's exactly what Randy Bausch did, the last lecture. A professor of computer science at Pittsburgh's Carnegie Mellon University, Bausch delivered a deeply personal lecture last September, sharing his telltale CAT scans with his students and with the world. Okay, some background to this video. So this video was watched by more than 21 million people, you know, on date, and later they published a book named The Last Lecture. So, Randy Pausch, he was a computer science professor at Carnegie Mellon University, and he was diagnosed with a terminal pancreatic cancer. Doctors said he had only three to six months of good health. And Pausch decided to share his life experiences and insights with a broad, broader audience, and that's the last lecture. He wanted to leave a mark and inspire people to handle life's challenges and ups and downs with a positive attitude. He shared his life story, the lessons he learned, and all those things to encourage everyone to make the most of life, even when things are tough. So in today's Wisdom Shorts, I want to share with you the top three life lessons from his talk. Number one, focus of control. You know, there are things in our control and a lot of things which are out of control, right? Our past, future, results. And these are things which are not completely in our control. What others are thinking of us is not in our control. There are things beyond our influence. There are many external factors, right? The things which are in our control are our thoughts, our words, and our response in any situation. Pausch lived this philosophy when faced with this terminal illness. He accepted what is inevitable, which is unfortunately in his case, death. He decided to focus on you know, what is in his control, which is maintaining a positive mindset and responding to life's challenges with grace. His journey is a great example and reminder that despite external circumstances, challenges, our internal reactions and attitudes shape our experiences. That is what it is. We can't change it. And we just have to decide how we're going to respond to that. We cannot change the cards we are dealt, just how we play the hand. Uh, if I don't seem as depressed or morose as I should be, um, sorry to disappoint you. Uh, <laughs> our power lies in the way we choose to face adversity. So by sharing his story and insights, Bosch aimed to inspire others to embrace life's challenges with grace and to respond to diffi difficulties with a positive spirit. Jump the brick walls. You know, life throws brick walls at us, right? It's a metaphor. Obstacles, challenges, and like most of us, we see these walls as like, oh my God, you know, I can't get through this. You know, Randy Power says, these brick walls aren't there to keep us out. They are there to test how much we really want something. Terminal cancer, that was his brick wall in his life. But instead of letting it stop him, he decided to jump over that wall. He treated every challenge, even the big scary ones, and he talks about a lot of other things in the book, as a chance to grow and innovate. So the next time when life throws a brick wall, obstacle, don't let it stop you. Put on your creative hat and you know, show some determination and jump right over it. And you might just find something awesome on the other side. Lesson number three, attitude of gratitude. As you know, gratitude is a strong emotion. And so in his last lecture, he talked in detail about the importance of appreciating the positive aspects of our life, even in the face of adversity. He maintained a sense of gratitude throughout his journey, cherishing moments with loved ones and expressing appreciation for the time he had left. You know, it's, it's a shift in the mindset, right? A shift from a mindset of insufficiency to one of fulfillment. Now, gratitude is a transformative emotion that goes beyond a simple thank you. It shapes our perspective, influences our relationships, and contributes to our overall physical and mental well-being. So practice it. So to wrap up, three lessons are, number one, focus of control. Master our thoughts and our responses. Number two, jump the brick wall. You know, see challenges as opportunities for growth. Number three, attitude of gratitude. It's a powerful force that transforms 
adversity into a celebration so it's not about how long you live but how well you live we don't beat the reaper by living longer we beat the reaper by living well and living fully right so the last lecture by randy posh is a reminder for all of us to live each moment gracefully face challenges head on and appreciate every moment of our lives thank you so much for watching i am srijit krishnan stay happy stay healthy